everyone welcome back to studio Lou so today I just have a little thrift haul um, I have been super busy this week so it's been one of those kind of weird weeks where I have not made a ton of videos I've also been really caught up in other things um, that I'll talk about in my next uh, creative making video but anyways let me jump into this thrift haul so the first thing I got actually is this um this piece of like cruel um that still has the needle in it too um it is uh really pretty it's got like these beautiful like trees with different like leaves and flowers and things so um yeah I thought I would pick it up I always like to pick up these nice pieces of like handwork that someone has done so and also it's going to block the glare from my glass mat so <laughs> Then the next thing I got are these two books. They're Enid Blyton books. Um, and I especially love them for these like fairy type creatures because I want to make, I actually already have one copy of this one, but I got a second one now, which I'm pretty happy about because um, I want to make some fairy journals. I've kind of had those plans for a while. Um, and been kind of collecting things so the pages in here are really nice and the words are quite large which is really great for uh, grabbing like phrases and things out of a book but I think the covers will be really great for journals so that is the plan for those And then for some of the random things that I got. So for stitching purposes, um, I actually got this piece of, it's just a piece of sample fabric, but it's like a really cool fabric that I want to try stitching on. Um, it's a cotton poly um, blend and it's kind of like bubbly, so it would be good for embroidery. And then I found this... Um, I, I should cover the address because I don't know if this person still lives there, but it's in this like old Chatelaine um, envelope from the editorial department of Chatelaine. So that's a magazine. I think it, I don't know, is it a Canadian? I guess it's probably a Canadian magazine. And there's some old Canadian stamps on here. So this is just like a bubble envelope that has like a bunch of cruel wool in it in really beautiful shades. Um, and so I picked it up because I'm like, this is really pretty. Um, not that I need more wool at all, but I've been doing a lot of um, embroidery and I'm starting to get into doing a bit of stump work as well. And so I am experimenting with maybe untraditional um, fibers and embroidery and things like that. And then also inside here is like this, I guess this is from a magazine and it was, oh, that's her needle, that's funny. Um, it's from a magazine and I'm guessing that this is the project that she's working on. It's from 1975. Um, and let's see if this is the actual pattern for this. I'm guessing it probably is, but I think it more than likely would have also came with like a printed piece of cloth. But like that's a really gorgeous um, piece of paper that could definitely get used in journals. So yeah so beautiful so i love these kind of creative materials like these kind of things when you find them it's really nice um so let's just put those away that's the whole reason i had to get to making a video today so i can organize and put all this stuff away because i hate having a mess in my studio <laughs> um And then just some little thing, little books. So I found this book. I really like this cover. I thought it'd be really cute, maybe for an ocean journal or something like that. It's a book called Map and Lucia or Lucia. Um, and it's it's a novel of some kind. Um, it's, I don't think it's particularly old, um, but I liked the color of the book. First published in 1931. Copy renewed in 1959. Oh, 1994. Okay, so this is from 1994. Um, but I like that color of cover. And then again, with the flower fairies of the wayside, the the um, fairy journals. This is uh, going to be very handy for those. So it's got some nice cards inside of like fairies. Um, super cute. They're just little postcards. Um, Pea Blossom Fairy, uh, the Medici Society, 
And these are all from the Medici Society of London. So I don't know if they came with the book or not. This book is um, from 1985. And it's just got these beautiful little fairies on each page along with their stories. Um, so again, that'll be so perfect for fairy journals. And then I found this book I know nothing about. But then, you know, it's really funny. It's, it's so weird how things happen sometimes, like in a weird way. I, I can't explain it. I've never seen or heard of this before. Water Snakes and Gumbles. So um, this book is from uh, 1973, I think. Yeah. And I saw like our thrift store had a bunch, or our recycling center had a bunch of old like puffin books that were like children's chapter books like this. And I have no idea what about this book attracted me to it or why I really picked it up. I'm probably going to want to read it. Um, there was, um, there's a bunch of other ones and I forget the name. They're like these little, oh, Moomin. Uh, Moomin creatures. They had like four books about Moomins. Um, and I've seen the Moomins before. I don't know. Like there's a lot of reference to Australia. So I don't know if they're popular in Australia. But the weirdest thing is this morning I turned on Netflix for my daughter because she wanted to watch a, a movie. And I saw they have a show now called Butter Snakes and Gumbles. I'm like, what is going on? <laughs> Um, the next I found this book, Healing Plants, A Modern Herbal. So first of all, the illustrations on the cover got me. It's a soft cover book. Um, so it does have um, illustrations in it, lots of tables and stuff too, um, about, and then like some photography, but it does have beautiful illustrations. I love these kind of botanical illustrations. So at some point I need to remind myself that I have enough of this. These are nice pages too. And like, I like the, the um, black work um, images as well. So yeah, at some point I will reach a point of like, you have enough botanical images. <laughs> then I found this book, Wildflowers of Canada, and it is uh, a little worse for wear in, on the cover anyhow. Look at that gorgeous book cloth. I have to use that for something. Um, so it's again botanical, but they're watercolors and they're large and beautiful. Um, and they're especially nice because it's like Canadian stuff, and also like there's stories in here. Like it's it's a nice book. It's like um I don't know impressions and sketches of a field artist so you know always something to look out for is anything done by a field artist like so many love Edith Holden that was what she was what she did and then the last of it is this so the guide to trees of Canada and North America so this book I probably am just going to like I don't know if I'm going to keep but because um it's a good thing to be able to recognize trees um so I'm thinking about just keeping this book actually even though like aren't the images to just like die for inside Ugh, beautiful right but I think that this one is going to actually just head to my library and be kept um I did get one other book same topic but a little bit different um it's already in the library <laughs> And then this book, The Forbidden Door by Marilee Heyer. So this book, um, I actually owned a copy of it already. I have since used up all of it in journals. So if you've seen it before, or if you have one of my journals, it may have some of the images in it. They are the most hauntingly beautiful images. Um, I've used them in, a, in several different themes, some of which are a little bit darker, some are, um, you know, different kinds of journals that I make. Um, so this book is amazing. And I, I haven't read the story yet. I probably should do that to see if like I should keep a copy of this book. I don't tend to keep books if I don't like the story. Like there's no real reason to do that. Um, and then I found just a favorite Audubon Birds of America book. Um, has a nice... Uh, looks like a pelican on the front and um, I definitely didn't need more bird images I have several bird books but these ones are just so pretty um, and also I believe they are now in the public domain um, so 
not that you would scan them, they already exist online, but um, if you are looking for uh, bird images online, I believe if you go to the Audubon Society's website that they've made um, like thousands of bird images like like high resolution large downloads so you can actually download these kind of images so if you don't have the book you know you don't have books like this available to you you can get them online um and that my friends is everything from my thrift haul today i oh actually one little thing so i also found some corydale wool from fiber garden um which is um a lovely niagara region uh fiber shop so i was happy to find a little bit of lovely wool why not right so <laughs> it was just it was along with all that cruel wool so yeah i picked that up and i will definitely make use of it so that's it for me for today i will be back with another creative making video um and i will be doing probably this weekend my weekly wrap up and i have a whole lot to show you because while i haven't been making a ton of videos i have been doing a lot of making and fun new different stuff i've, I've had a really great week so i hope all of you are well thank you so much for tuning in and i'll talk to you again soon all of my information's down below in the description box don't forget to subscribe have a great day Thank you.